You're watching the CP News Weekly video brought to you by the Winter 2022 issue of Erner Berry's Reporter Magazine. The new issue is filled with can't miss content regarding rising prices, adding more pressure to markets. Keep an eye out for stories on how U.S. shrimp imports are in position to set another record and how crab quotas are slashed heading into 2022. Visit earnerberry.com slash reporter to read a digital copy or to sign up to receive your free issue in the mail. I'm CP News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Erna Berry Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story of the week, Maruja Nichiro announced that its consolidated subsidiaries, Maruja Capital Investment and Westward Seafoods, have acquired assets for Alaska Pollock operations from Iceville Seafoods and their group companies. Besides the processing facility, they also acquired nine fishing vessels with Alaska Pollock quota from Iceville. The investment is in partnership with Norton Sound Economic Development Corporation and Coastal Villages Region Fund. The partnership includes shared ownership of 4% of the Bering Sea Pollock quota, which brings the total inshore Pollock quota owned jointly by the three companies to just over 8% of the overall non-community development quota fishery in the Bering Sea. The two community development quota companies own 75% of the combined operations, as well as the managers of the vessels and fishing activity. Meanwhile, in the final week of January, the Russian Red King crab market adjusted lower on most sizes. All sizes adjusted lower with the exception of six and nines. Some still lower offers are noted on all sizes. A combination of slower demand period along with cash flow issues for some, uh, from some market participants appears to have generated some lower offers into the market. Market participants appear to be testing the market in order to stimulate sales, but with global quotas down around 5.8% heading to 2022, U.S. importers will need to remain competitive against the live Asian crab market. According to reports, demand for king crab overseas continues to be active. U.S. importers will need to compete in order for king crab to reach U.S. shores. Through November 2021, king crab imports are 23.9% higher, and Russia, the leader in the category, is up 27.3%. And in other news, Maine Department of Marine Sources Commissioner Patrick Kelleher tested before the state's Committee on Marine Resources and shared his support for a bill that featured a proposed $30 million fund to help lobstermen impacted by federal regulations aimed to protect North Atlantic right whales. The bill will, will establish the Atlantic Large Whale Take Reduction Impact Fund and seek to provide compensation for the immediate financial losses experienced by the recent federal regulatory changes affecting approximately 1,000 square miles of federal waters off the coast of Maine. The grant will be administered by the Department of Marine Resources and will provide funds for the purchase of replacement gear. And finally, the National Restaurant Association is forecasting that food service sales will be on the rise this year. In 2020, NRA released their annual State of the Restaurant Industry Report, forecasting that industry sales would reach a record $899 billion. Well, as everyone knows, things didn't exactly turn out as planned. Just a few weeks into the report, uh, after the report came out, the U.S. went into lockdowns to prevent the spread of COVID-19, resulting in massive blows to the restaurant industry. Industry sales in 2020 ended up coming in at $678 billion, which is $221 billion below the predicted sales number and 186 billion below 2019 sales. In 2021, NRA projected that sales would reach $731 billion and later adjusted that figure to $789 billion in their mid-year report. Total food and beverage sales in 2021 ended up hitting $799 billion, an impressive number, but still not as high as pre-pandemic levels. Well, NRA is now forecasting that food service sales in 2022 will reach $898 billion. Fingers crossed for that one, Amanda. <laughs> now be sure to subscribe to our channel below and head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching and you be well. well. <laughs>